Yo, what is going on, NFL fans? I have a really special mock draft for you guys today. I want to break down the Kansas City Chiefs roster and give you guys the ultimate mock draft for the Super Bowl champions. Okay, if we look at how the board fell, I really want to give the Chiefs a very reliable wide receiver. There's a bunch of really good ones late in the first round that are there for the picking for the Kansas City Chiefs. For me, it's between Roman Wilson, Ricky Persall, and Jermaine Burton. Jermaine Burton from Alabama is a very talented player, right? But he does come with some baggage, particularly off-the-field baggage. And the Chiefs have had, you know, not the best luck with these type of guys that have all these off-the-field and personality issues. So I want to go with two guys that are really good players, Roman Wilson and Ricky Persall. Roman Wilson was a very effective wide receiver for J.J. McCarthy and the national champion Michigan Wolverines. They didn't ask him to do a lot last year because they have a very heavy power run offense. He did get 67 targets, 48 receptions, 789 yards. I love his drop rate, though, 2%. Contested catch rate is not the best, but yards per route run is up there. Receiving grade, 84.5. He's a very good player. Pretty good against man coverage to 75.5. Now let's check out Ricky Persall. He's a little bit bigger than Roman Wilson. Wilson is like six foot, 190 pounds. Ricky Persall, 6'1", 192. Pretty close. The numbers are very, very similar. 77 receiving grade, drop rate 3%. Grade versus man coverage, 72.1. 963 yards, 14.8 yards per reception but only four touchdowns. This might surprise people, but I'm going to go with Roman Wilson, man. He's so good. 2% drop rate. He never drops the ball ever. And for Roman Wilson to only have 48 receptions and 12 of them be touchdowns, he's going to be a huge red zone threat to add to Travis Kelsey, guys. I love Roman Wilson. He's going to the Chiefs in the first round. All right, the Chiefs are up in the second round. And when breaking down their roster, the Chiefs need some tackle help. Serious tackle help. Right tackle, Jawan Taylor, 72 out of 81. Right now, Wanya Morris, the 2023 third-round pick, is set to be the starting left tackle, man. So we need to protect Patrick Mahomes. And I love Patrick Paul from Houston. Look at that pass block rate, 91.5. He's got great tackle size, 6'7", 315 pounds. I think he might be a day one starter for the Chiefs at either left tackle or right tackle. He can play either one of those positions. 23 years old, so he can play right away. I like Patrick Paul, the tackle from Houston, to go to the Chiefs in the second round. The Chiefs are up round three, pick 32. I want to add some defensive line help in the interior to pair with Chris Jones. He can't do it all. They need some depth there. They don't have a lot of guys there. Michael Hall Jr. from Ohio State is a really interesting player. Pass rush win rate, 18%. Pass rush grade, 84.8%. The guy plays a lot of snaps. 400 snaps, and he doesn't have a ton of tread on the tires, which is great. Look at that. Look at the production 22 Harrys and only 228 pass rush snaps available. So that means on 10% of the passing snaps, he's hurrying the quarterback, which is great. 6'2, 280. He's a smidge undersized, but that's not going to matter as much because Chris Jones is going to get doubled and triple teamed. And this is going to work well for a guy like Michael Hall Jr. because he can shoot the gap really fast. He's got a really good get off the ball. He's a very talented player. I love Michael Hall Jr. to shore up the defensive line, add him to Chris Jones, and this position can be even better now. The Chiefs are up round four, pick 31, and the way this board fell to us, I want to add some even more D-line help, but this time we're going to concentrate on the edge. Mohamed Kamara from Colorado State is an amazing player. I just did a video on him where I watched a bunch of his tape. 85.9 grade, 14 sacks last year. This guy's a dirty, nasty player. 38 hurries and only 342 pass snaps that's over 10 percent this guy is extremely talented and to land at this level in the draft almost the fifth round for the chiefs this is an absolute steal in my opinion 91.2 pass rush grade true pass set rush pass grade 92 
pass rush win rate, one of the highest in the drafts, over 19%. And if you look at the edge, Mike Dana, George Kalathis, Charles Amanyahu, they're okay players. The rankings were 74, 60, and 64 out of 112 possible edge defenders. So they're middle-of-the-pack guys. And this guy, Kamara, can be absolutely special. I love him going to the Chiefs. When looking over the Chiefs roster, they're very thin at interior linemen. They have really good guards and a really good center. But behind the starters, there's not a lot of depth there. So I want to add another Michigan Wolverine player, Drake Nugent, the center. One of the best centers in college football. Played over 800 snaps the past two years. He only gave up one sack and 845 snaps. Just a quality player. 76 run block grade, 78 Pass block great. He's got great size, 6'2", 301 for a center. He's going to go add some depth. He doesn't have to start right away, and he can kind of be a depth, kind of swing center and swing guard for the Chiefs. Like I mentioned earlier in the draft, the Chiefs are very thin at the tackle position. Left tackle and right tackle are going to be very suspect this year for the Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't really do anything in free agency to address it. So let's bring in another tackle, someone who's kind of flown under the radar a little bit. North Dakota State's Jalen Sundell. He's got better each and every year. Look how great of a 2023 he had. 82.9 overall grade, 878 snaps, only one sack. He's only given up two sacks since whole college career guys and look this is a passing league pass block grade 89.2 and if you look at the game by game grades he's just so consistent man he doesn't have one game graded in the 50s very consistent player I like his size 6'5 300 pounds we need all the help we can get at offensive line and if worse comes to worse if you can't cut it at tackle for the Chiefs just swing them inside. We need some more guard depth as well. The Chiefs had one of the best defenses in the NFL last year, and when looking over their defense, they can use some safety help. Their safeties are just okay. Brian Cook, Justin Reed, Chamari Connor, and these guys kind of flip between the slot and playing safety, and this guy that I want to pick for them is a true safety. One of the better safeties and one of the most overlooked players in this draft is Trey Taylor, the safety from Air Force. Look at these greats. From 2021, 75 to 2023, 83.9. Coverage grade, 89. He's a very good player. Run defense grade, 72. That's pretty good for a safety, especially in the seventh round. Trey Taylor is going to add some depth to our safety room. I love, love, love Trey Taylor from Air Force. All right, Chiefs fans, here is our 2024 mock draft. I think we did really good. C-plus grade for Roman Wilson. I don't agree with that at all whatsoever. He's going to be an outlet for Patrick Mahomes all year long. 2% drop rate. That's better than anyone on the team that's not named Travis Kelsey. He's going to fit right in there. And Patrick Paul, we need tackle help. Their depth at tackle, both left tackle and right tackle, is not very good at all. We needed offensive line help. To me, if I was the GM of the Chiefs, I would really attack offensive line, especially because there's a lot of depth at the tackle position and guard position in the later rounds in 2024. Then we did the D-line, too, a little bit. Michael Hall Jr. and Muhammad Kamara. See, I told you guys, that guy Kamara is great. A fourth-round pick, A-minus grade. That's awesome. We needed depth at center. They have one center on their roster. Drake Nugent is a top-five center in this draft, in my opinion. There's some guards I can swing in the center, but he's a pure center. He started three years for the Michigan Wolverines. I love that pick. And then we did good at the end of the draft, too. Jalen Sundell, he's a guy flying under the radar for the Chiefs, B-plus grade. And then Trey Taylor, I wanted to add a little depth to the safety position. They have like kind of some hybrid safeties, but Trey Taylor is a pure safety. He plays nasty. He hits the crap out of people. I love Trey Taylor. I absolutely love this draft for the Chiefs. If you're a Chiefs fan, let me know in the comments below. Do you like this draft? What players would you have taken that I passed on in these seven rounds for the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs can make some splashes. We definitely need some offensive line help, especially when you're looking at the roster. They have really good guards, but behind the starters, there's not a lot of depth there. So the Chiefs really need to address offensive line in this draft, in my opinion. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.